and Elaine Roy have a very special place in their hearts for children of all ages. They've been involved with Compassion International, helping to make a difference for kids in other countries, but now they are helping to impact lives right here in Middle Tennessee. The sibling bluegrass duo hosted the second annual Christmas for Kids Celebrity Golf Tournament in Mountain Juliet, Tennessee. We had a chance to check in with a few of the golfers before they teed off to find out why they are involved in this organization. We are here on location for the second annual Christmas for Kids Celebrity Golf Tournament hosted by the Roys and they're here with me today. How are y'all? We are doing wonderful. It's a beautiful day, great day for golf, great day to raise some money for some kids and uh, a lot of people are here to open their wallets and some celebrities are here to lend their name. Couldn't ask for a better day. It is absolutely beautiful. Now talk a little bit about, because Charlie Daniels does the Christmas for Kids and you guys got involved a couple years ago and put this together? Yes, this is the second annual golf tournament and it's it's the same thing uh, Charlie does the concert in November this is the uh, spring golf tournament and it all goes for the shopping spree in December with the kids also the uh, tour bus uh, and Walmart in Hendersonville when they tour all the buses that also goes to raise the funds to bring the children shopping so we've been involved in the shopping it's so incredible because without that you know the kids wouldn't have Christmas so we love lending our name and it's a great organization and we're just proud to be part of it so who came up with the actual golf tournament are you you guys big golfers or who had that idea I mean it's a lot of fun well you know it is they had three years ago they had tried to, to, to do one they had done one and um, they had a lot of the celebrities come out and uh, they had Mark Wills and a bunch of different ones Tracy Lawrence come out and but it wasn't gonna be an annual thing and uh, Debbie Lamerson uh, approached me one day and said you know would you guys be willing to lend your name and make it a, a, an actual annual thing uh, you know and I told her I said Let, let's give it a shot it, if, if it works it works if it doesn't no harm foul and and last year we raised a ton of money and uh, you know it, it's it's 450 to 500 kids that get to go shopping and uh, we like she said we've done the shopping and, and anybody that sees those kids walk into Walmart and get to have a Christmas it's uh, it's it's the least that we could do is to be here and, and lend our name and do this and raise some money. I'm really big on charities this year, and uh, this is one of my favorites, Christmas for Kids. And uh, as a child myself, I uh, I was raised in a large family, and we didn't always have uh, gifts every Christmas. So when people were generous and gave their time for us, it meant a lot. So it means a lot to me to be here and give back. Do you have a personal Christmas story that you remember as a child, maybe getting that special gift? Oh, the special gift would have been my beat-up pawn shop guitar at five years old, man. I got up uh, on Christmas morning and got this guitar that, uh, that had, like, hummingbirds on it. You know, it wasn't a Gibson or anything, but it was just a El Cheapo, as we called it. But, uh, but that's really what I learned to learn, you know, um, my first Johnny Cash song, Folsom Prison Blues. So I know how important it is for kids to, to have dreams and wishes and, you know, follow their dreams and... and that was special for me, so. Do you know who you're paired up with yet? I don't. I just uh, signed in a little bit ago, and I haven't seen who the folks I'm paired I know I'm Group 5B, so I'm going to go uh, right. scope it out and see who I'm Are you be. real competitive when it comes to golf? I have a good time. You know, I play a lot. I'm not really great. You know, I'm kind of an 80s shooter, but I have a great time with it. Made a lot of great friends on the golf course. So if they, as long as they don't start trying to pull the wallets out and bet me, you know, I try, I, I've wound up uh, getting stuck with guys that shoot in the 70s getting killed on numerous occasions. So I'll try to steer away from that. Are you a really good golfer? Obviously, you're much better at driving fast cars. Yeah, I think um, I'm not good at driving a golf ball. I'm a lot better at driving a race car. I can hit it a long ways. I just don't know which direction it's going. But uh, like I said, it's just out here for for a great cause and uh, to support the support the Roys. They're uh, they've been unbelievable supporters of mine and uh, I'm really happy for them. Last year when we did uh, the Christmas for Kids with the tour buses and the Walmart shopping center parking lot, seeing the faces on these children was so rewarding and so humbling to see that not only did they buy gifts for themselves, but they took care of their siblings, they took care of their parents, and they just wanted the simplest thing. So I think it's such an incredible organization, and I'm so happy to be a part of it, and I want to continue doing this. Jackson is here to play golf today. Now, I hear you were a professional baseball player, or a really good baseball good, player, yeah, yeah. and now on the golf course. What, what do you think is going to happen today? Oh, I'm going to go out there and, uh, and hack it around and and have a good time. It's not. Uh, it's for a good charity, you know. Christmas for kids, uh, great cause. Nobody's keeping score. We're going out there for fun. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen. People better duck when I'm hitting the ball, though. So. Have you been able to experience seeing the faces on these children at Christmas, or 
I'm hope this is my first year doing this, and um, I was just speaking to the people here, and they had asked me to come down for at Christmas time for the bus um, event, and um, and maybe go shopping with the kids. They asked if I was interested in doing that, and I am a hundred percent interested in doing that. Such a that's special the, thing. I've heard the stories, yeah. and it's just wonderful. Yeah, you want to see, you know, see them in person and see their excitement and. It's just a wonderful cause. It's time for another tea tiny little break, but we've got lots more ahead right here on Inside Music Row. We'll hook up with Ray Scott when we come back. Hey, I'm Ray Scott. An extremely riveting interview is coming up with me, coming up next.